why wasn't Darren in the trailer? After the premiere of the two previews of the second season of House of the Dragon, many fans continue to wonder where is a character that according to the writers, we would be seeing in this second season. I'm talking about Darren Targaryen, the younger brother of the current King Aegon, son of Queen Alicent and King Viserys. Although many have been waiting for this character, it seems that he has been erased from the story. Could it be that Darren is the secret weapon of the Greens in this second season of House of the Dragon? Why didn't we see Darren in the previews of the second season, if it had been mentioned that we would see him with his dragon? In this video, we will be talking about Darren and what we could expect from this character in the second season of House of the Dragon. And for more videos from A Song of Ice and Fire Universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. First, let's recap what we know about this character. Darren Targaryen is the third son of King Viserys and his second wife, Queen Alicent Hightower. From childhood, Darren showed traits that distinguished him from his siblings. His intelligence and kindness soon made him a favorite among those who knew him, earning him the affectionate nickname of Darren the Daring. Despite his gentle nature, life at court was not easy for the young prince. The tension between the green and black factions was growing, and the shadow of an impending civil war loomed over Westeros. From a young age, Darren showed an insatiable interest in learning. He read avidly and displayed wisdom beyond his years. One of the most significant moments in Darren's life was his union with his dragon, named Tessarion. This event occurred when he was still a boy of only six years of age and was an immediate and profound connection between rider and beast. His ability to ride a dragon at a young age was a sign of his great potential. Tessarion is described as having scales of a deep bright blue, and his eyes are the same piercing color. His wings, when fully extended, catch the light and create an almost mythical and majestic image. Her horns, spines, and claws are jet black, and her fire is described as vivid blue. Tessarion's size and strength make him a formidable creature in battle and his shimmering scales reflect an unusual, almost supernatural beauty. This character is very important, because he is part of Viserys' attempt to unite the two families. In the book Fire and Blood, we can read that Jace and Darren live together, in an attempt by Viserys to make them grow up as brothers. Part of the book reads as follows. The court was still rejoicing at the birth of the princess's son, when her stepmother, Queen Alicent, also went into labor and bore Viserys their third offspring, Darren, whose coloring, unlike Jace's, attested to his dragon blood. By royal command, the infants Jaceris Valerion and Darren Targaryen shared a wet nurse until they were weaned. It was said that the king was confident that being milk brothers would prevent any animosity between the two children. If so, his hopes were sadly dashed. This means that Darren's emotional connection is much greater than the one that Amond or Aegon may feel for their siblings or nephews. It is possible that Darren feels appreciation for the Black Faction, as he remembers his father's attempt to unite their families. Though of course it is also mentioned in the books that Darren inherited the hatred Alicent had for Rhaenyra's children. But why didn't we see Darren in the first season of House of the Dragon? In the books we can read that he was sent to Old Town, to serve as a cupbearer. It is believed that he is Alicent's most beloved son, and she sent him to Old Town to protect him from the crisis that was happening in Westeros. In the book we can read the following. Prince Amond, despite the loss of his eye, had become a skilled and fearsome swordsman under the tutelage of Sir Criston Cole, although he remained a spoiled and capricious child, bad-tempered and ruthless. His younger brother, Prince Daron, was the most beloved of the Queen's sons, as quick-witted as he was debonair and handsome to boot. When he was 12 years old, in the year 126 after the conquest, Daron was sent to Old Town to serve as cupbearer and squire to Lord Hightower. According to many Westeros scholars, 
Darren was the most beloved by the queen because he was the closest to her own character. He was a respectful young man who served the Seven. However, during Alicent and the Green's coup, Darren was nowhere to be found. It is very likely that Alicent thought to protect him now that the war has begun. Even though Darren is in Old Town, he will have to join the war eventually. According to the books, it is not until when Old Town was attacked that Darren then appears on the scene. We can read the following in the books. In the Reach, Ormond Hightower found himself caught between two armies. Thaddeus Rowan, Lord of Goldengrove, and Tom Flowers, the Bastard of Bitterbridge, were pressing him from the northeast with a large cavalry army. While Sir Alan Beesbury, Lord Alan Tarley, and Lord Owen Costain had joined forces to cut off his retreat to Old Town. When their armies cornered him on the banks of the Honeywine River and attacked him from both the vanguard and the rear, Lord Hightower saw his ranks crumble. Defeat seemed imminent. But then a shadow crossed the battlefield, and a terrible roar from the sky rose above the clash of steel. A dragon had arrived. It was Tessarion, the Blue Queen, the Copper and Cobalt Dragon. She carried on her back Darren Targaryen, the 15-year-old boy, the youngest of Queen Alicent's three sons, squire to Lord Ormond, the gentle, soft-spoken child. The arrival of Prince Darren and his dragon turned the tide of battle. Now, will we see Darren in the second season of House of the Dragon? As we have mentioned in other videos on this topic, different producers of House of the Dragon have mentioned that this prince exists and that we will see him in the future. However, he has not been shown at any point. But the first season of House of the Dragon was focused on King's Landing. Now in the second season, we will see Winterfell and other places, we may not see this character until the battle at Old Town is shown, something that could happen in Season 3. However, if Darren is going to be in House of the Dragon, it needs to be shown in this second season, and the context of why this character is in Old Town needs to be explained. It wouldn't make sense for them to show us the Battle of the High Tower with Darren's arrival, without anyone knowing who he is. Personally, I think he is a necessary character and is currently in Old Town, but will be part of the Dance of the Dragons. I don't think we saw him in any of the trailers released, because we won't see him in action in this second season. I think the Battle of Old Town will be shown in the third season, but we might see some hint or reference to Darren by Alicent in this next season. Although there is also the possibility that this character would be eliminated from the story, but this would be something that the fans would not like. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Could it be that Darren is in Old Town? Do you think we will see him in the third season of House of the Dragon? Why do you think we didn't see him in the trailer? And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos of theories, news and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.